Oh, yeah, I'm adding emojis now, so Jessica sees it. Oh, feeling optimistic. That's good. What she doesn't want to get is calls from Brody's teacher saying, yeah, we have a problem here. <laughs> no pet parent wants that call. I tell them no news is good news. So if you said, what do you say? We have to understand his baseline behavior is going to start grabbing up stuff. So if the boys leave their socks and shoes and everything all around, that's what the dog's going to grab. We have to get a shoe rack or whatever we got to do. But that's what his baseline behavior is. If we're going to sort of say that's what we're going to choose to attack or to ugh, it's going to be a big mess. That's kind of what was, you were doing before. And he was not only fortifying himself against your what he deemed attacks, but he was now launching his own preemptive strikes on you. That's true. That's true. Oh, crap. Hang on. i got to go get my... Hi, Susan. I'm going to run to Dr. Castro later. I'm going to get some newspaper down there. I didn't realize, girl, there were, I went in there last night. There was a scrap of paper in there. Um, I've got penny savers in the van. Oh, thank God. i got to go get them right now. i gotta, I got to do the puppies before I go down there. But there is a hometown news thing by Dr. Castro, so I could probably get some papers out of there. Anyway, his baseline behavior is going to be chewing on something. What we don't want to do, girl, is give him all these raw hides and everything that you had been giving him. And if you said, well, well he's teaching him how to chew better. <laughs> If you said, do we want him to get better? No. No, not better. Not better. So I'm going to show the whole process. There's other trainers there out there that, unlike me, that edit out all the good stuff, show actually the whole process, Jessica. So what I've got is my what's deemed a high-performance pager. That was what they came up with it. And this was, it was, if you said that you did change the world because you let the world change you. I did, and I think if you ask them, oh, they probably lie, though. This is the reason my screaming and yelling, it make it stronger, it resulted in this. If you said it took years off. Yeah, it took years off my life screaming at these people, but, but I got what I want. Oh, I'll go back. I'll show you my dog tra IQ review. So what we've got, girl, is the collar. got a dog that it's jumping just not on us you know I'm thinking this is what I'm thinking girl we get you know you don't want to jump them a whole bunch when they're a puppy but we could get yay put some gets a couple little jumps in the back we could you know the boys were out there you know going Brody over his jumps and you know remember your husband in a slippers pipe and smoking jacket reading the Wall Street Journal well, you're in the kitchen in your apron making cookies. <laughs> Jessica's like, what? <laughs> oh, sorry, that was 1953. I think part of what you're doing is making the pager a part of their idea. Because if you said, when did you use the pager? When I could... It, it is. You are splitting hairs with the timing. That's what tech is giving you, and that's why it has to be very, very technical. The second I saw him getting ready to do it, and if you said you mean the fraction of a second, absolutely. I added the pager to the behavior. He thought it was his idea. By me adding the pager to it, it's fortifying the behavior. Right, he's laying down right beside me, but I can get him over there. Watch. Oh, we've never had one particularly that did it particularly as good as him. So we want to teach the boys. Again, we're going to sit down and you, we're going to put our arms like this. And if you said, well, what's that? It's universal speak. There was. I was just read, reading this thing. It was in the Wall Street Journal or something. You know, for people that do have to live life. They don't, they're not country bumpkins like me. They have to live in the city around other people and... They have to keep their jobs by having a level of professionalism in the office setting. And it was all these different body languages you weren't supposed to do. And I said, well, if it's that, if it's that detailed, you know, when these people are adding verbiage to it, what must it be to dogs? If all these, it was 10 different things, I'll go find the article and post it. Well, he was rolling the eyes and, you know, some obvious ones, but, you know, folding your arms. Oh, yeah, Judge Judy, if they fold their arms, she tells them, unfold your arms. 
So a lot of this is just, you've got other things to do. And if you said, well, what, what should I kind of get set up? If you've got like, I don't know, girl, an office, a computer, a desk, anything like that, you would kind of have your treats right there. And you're just kind of, if you said, what's my inner, you know, It, the key is to get the dog to do this when you're not paying attention. So its default is the reason I need to pay attention to them is they, I mean, they, they, these things will get going. Go on. So that us sitting down like that really is a precursor to. Motion. We're not, it's not, okay, now it's. I'm going to tell you a secret about my parents. They used to be the type. This was when I was college, too. I was awful. Once they went to bed, they never got back up, so it didn't matter. You could have company over. And I'm not kidding you. You could go out in the middle of the night. They, they never noticed. They never got back up. So if you said, what did that do? Well, we left a lot of room for getting into trouble. <laughs> so, you know, that's, that's what the dog has got to think. If you said, well, what if they would have been the type that came busting out of their room? Yeah, no, I wouldn't have been having people over and stuff. That was harmless. I mean, not like it's having anyone, you know. We would just, like, start making hamburgers and stuff in the middle of the night. I'm not kidding you. Oh, no, I'd be up I'd be in the kitchen baking cakes, burgers, anything, serving my friends. Yeah, no, the middle of the night. They never got back up. You said, well, how did I? Did all the dishes clean everything up? No, yeah, they don't know. So this isn't going to go away. Yeah, uh-huh. Oh, yes, yes. Uh-huh, oh, the course I signed up for, how to con how to train dogs and teenagers. Uh-huh, yeah, oh, there's an opening, I'm in. Good, good, good. Oh, you bumped me up to the front row, yeah, yeah. You'll. Oh, yeah, no, I'll be there. I'll be there with my notebook taking notes, yeah. Yeah, come to find out training teenagers and dogs is very similar, Jessica. You make them believe they're doing what they want to do, and then nothing, and I mean nothing, can stop them. <laughs> That's why he's doing it. He's not doing that because it's my idea. He's doing it because it's his idea. So I had forgotten about the part, and this is what Jessica did, you guys, with her. He, she had, was carrying him to take him outside and stuff, and then it had kind of got to the point where he wouldn't move anymore. And I think, of course, you can understand where that's going to be a problem. And that's why I say all the time, you've got to be able to move these things around. If you've got an 80, 90-pound dog that doesn't move, well, you might as well go get a little mini donkey. They don't move either, <laughs> you know. So he'll, he'll definitely move now, girl. And you're just, all you're going to have to do is step away and do the pager. You're going to go right with it. Look at him go. He's trying to go. Hey. If you said, what's the analogy? Oh, telling a teenager, I'm going to put 10 bucks in your room. I'm going to put 10 bucks in your room. As opposed to, I said, get in your room. <laughs> I'm going to put 10 bucks in your room. No, he's doing great, girl. And, you know, we've just got to be more careful with our arms. And if you said, how can we have to be close, as close to surgical as possible? Kids, we're going to... If you can just even show kids the hands up thing. And I know your kids are older, but, you know, it's, it's just going to speak. If you said anybody can do... Oh, yeah, no, anybody could come and do that right now. If you said, why? It's... I might as well... It's... 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 <laughs> Blinking the outside. Okay, here's something. Here's something. Okay, this is going to be good. Gonna be good. <laughs> All right, so look. If you said, what are you doing? I'm going to exploit the fact that, well, he's not exactly charging out there to see what it was. <laughs> he's already got a plan of runaway. And so where the runaway they need to go to is you, not it took off. If I, if I had a dime for every story that involved it, like a lot, you mean like a rocket? Yeah, this this is my response. Yeah, hi there, fast. I notice it too. 
Uh, when did you notice it? Uh, the first dog I ever had. <laughs> Long time ago. And since then, I've been making plans to <laughs> circumvent their speed from them using their speed against me. Am I wrong, Jill? Do I need to say, Wilson? <laughs> if he didn't run to the computer, you tell Jeffrey he's going to have to get back over here for more training. <laughs> this dog to say to this up I do have good ideas and there are things I can do right not uh, they don't like anything he's oh, yeah. I added the pager from there to there I, I waited <laughs> I waited to add the pager until he went airborne all right so remember he's got it delivered to hand and this is gonna be great for the boys we need to just set up a little training area you know, just like the kids have their little place they do their homework and all this stuff. Well, that's Brody's little homework thing out in the back. You just got to tell your husband. I mean, I'm sure he probably, I know a lot of times people don't want, you know, that. But it's it just like if you said, I'm going to homeschool my kid. And they'd be like, we have to get a desk. Can't the kid just sit on the couch? No. The kid's got to have a desk. That's the desk. That's the, oh, no, no, that's what they should call it. Like the doggy desk. Forget climb. That's just, <laughs> that's not going to sound good. The doggy desk, on the other hand. I, oh, I at times, if you said I never, the only deliberateness, that's where people are wrong, the only deliberateness I have with the dog is moving towards the dog. He is. He's getting, and that's what you have to tell him, Jess. He's got to feel like he's the best dog our family's ever had. He's the best. Yay. If you said, "Well, you got," you only had nanoseconds to throw something in there. That's all you need. Anytime anything is going the way you want it to go. If you said, what, what did you do? It was already going the way I wanted it to go. And so I added that to it. If you said, well, I can probably get him to get this. Let me show you how. Let me get this out of the way. Let me show you how. All right, you don't take the paper, Jess, but do you trick or treat? Oh, I can already see it. Brody's going along with the boys. Mom is, mom is there in the background using, using Halloween as a training. Oh, he might not graduate by then. That might be too much. But... The world is, is just full of distractions for kids and dogs and everything else. You plan from the beginning. Better be taking that into account. And if you said, how? You have to be like that guy. Oh, the Dosecki's guy. You have to be the most interesting person alive. And if you said, the world's full of people. And if all you've got is... Well, everybody's got that. If you said what it's Billy Joe Armstrong got, he's cute and he knows he sings and writes really good songs. That's what he's got. Which is crazy. Yeah, no, Jess, you need to say, uh, yes, honey. Yes, uh. Uh, Brody just got bumped. Ah! Brody just got bumped into the gifted course. So what does that mean? Oh, I'm going to have to stay at boarding school longer. <laughs> Your husband's like, oh, good. Yeah, that was pretty good, girl. That just If that doesn't show you the level of consciousness he has, it's, it's scary. And he's just a puppy. All right, there's one on the ground over there. He might find it on his own. Yeah, that's... You've got to get that those hands, Jill, and you already know that because you've got them. To get, if you've got to get those hands in right away, and if you say, "What are you saying?" You're exploiting the fact that they already see we're turtles. Oh, he's gonna find there's one on the ground over there. He's gonna find it. And, and you know, just let's just say, if this just re hey! <laughs> I, I my job is. I think you need to, as quick as possible, get anything in motion, even if it was just a couple steps. 
as as quick as you're you're risking. I think you're risking a lot if you're not paying attention to that. Whether you're teaching recalls or the retrieving or whatever, if you're too stationary in the beginning, the natural course of things is gonna be. If the dog is gonna be moving, it's the the, and you're not moving. The only thing it can do is move away. <laughs> It's the perfect deliver too. And you know, if you said, well, what is the commonality of the thing? It is lightweight. That's that's gotta be your commonality with objects. I think you can use bigger stuff as, as long as it doesn't weigh very much. Oh yay. Oh yeah, we'll convince your husband he's gonna be doing the laundry, all of it. It's going to be taking a lot of the burden off of you. We're going to get picking up, you know, sorting socks, folding towels. It's, it's, it's all in there in the advanced course. All right, guys, hang on. I'll be right back.